Welcome to this video on determining the size of a suitable square hollow section for a 3 meter long beam that supports a design load of 60 kilonewtons. The load acts through a short cantilever that is 0.5 meters from one end and has an eccentricity of 0.1 meters from the center line of the beam. It is important to note that a hollow closed cross-sectional geometry is considered to be the most optimal design for resisting torsional loads in terms of both strength and stiffness. Additionally, a mathematical formula exists for determining the stress levels present in sections where the wall thickness is relatively thin. The approach is to determine the initial dimensions of the beam based on bending and then to check the combined shear stress resulting from bending and torsion. Assuming that the shear yield stress is 159 newton per square millimeter and the characteristic strength of mild steel is 275 newton per square millimeter. First, we will begin by calculating the reaction force. To do this, we will multiply 60 kilonewtons by 2.5 and then divide that result by 3, resulting in 50 kilonewtons. Consequently, the maximum bending moment can be calculated by multiplying 50 kilonewtons by 0.5 meters, resulting in 25 kilonewton meters. Additionally, we will also calculate the applied torque, which is 60 kilonewtons times 0.1 meters, resulting in 6 kilonewton meters. Moreover, since both ends of the beam can resist torsion, the structure is considered indeterminate. Therefore, the torque will be distributed between the two ends in proportion to the torsional stiffness of the beam at each side of the load. Moving on, we will determine the required plastic modulus by dividing 25 times 10 to the power of 6 by 275 times 10 to the power of 3, resulting in 90.9 .9 cubic centimeters. As a suggestion, we will try a 100 by 100 by 8 square hollow section which has a plastic modulus of 99.9 .9 cubic centimeters. Next, we will calculate the shear stress from bending by using the average value on the web, which is 50 kilonewtons times 10 to the power of 3 divided by 2 times 100 times 8, resulting in 31.3 newton per square millimeter. Furthermore, we will calculate the shear stress from torsion using the equation which is 6 times 10 to the power of 6 divided by 2 times the area bounded by the center line of the wall cross section, which is 8464 times 8, resulting in 44.31 newton per square millimeter. In conclusion, we will add the torsional shear stress to the bending shear stress on one side of the section and subtract it from the other side. 31.3 plus 44.31 resulting in a maximum value of 75.61 newton per square millimeter, which is less than the allowable shear stress of 159 newton per square millimeter. Therefore, the optimal choice is to use a 100 by 100 by 8 square hollow section. Thanks for watching.